Hello, in this video I will show you what's new in Hair Tool. So this feature is Hair uh, Library. You can select any preset that I made and uh, select the preset, click Append and that's it. Now you have your uh, hair added to the scene. And most of the hair examples in the library are uh, generated using grid surface. And uh, usually your uh, character head may be in different position than the imported hair. So what you can do, you can just delete the curve hair and match your uh, match the grid surface to your character head position, and then just uh, rerun Control Shift H cards from grid surface, and uh, now the add-on will automatically generate hair adjusted, uh, and that will match your character head. Uh, there is there are options to store uh, new presets if you want. You can delete existing presets. You can generate uh, subcategories. Those are basically folders. So maybe you want to create short hair short hair folder, and in here you can place new presets. Or if you want, you can delete the presets and whole folder using this one. Uh, one thing to note is that. When uh, you want to store the preset, you can uh, store actually anything. So you can store uh, mesh, you can store uh, only the curve surface, or you can store both, just select both object objects, use store preset, name some object uh, preset name, and then you will have to left click and drag uh, area that will be used for thumbnail generation. Uh, the problem is that this uh, thumbnail generation is broken in Blender. This is a known issue in Blender and it will be hopefully soon fixed. Uh, it is a regression and the thumbnail generation works only in stable release long-term support uh, Blender version. So this works in Blender 2.8.3. Uh, hopefully this will be fixed by Blender developers soon. I will quickly show you maybe the presets stored in the uh, hair library for now. So this is the uh, first one, second one, and most of them are using uh, grid surface. So when you import those, you will import the, both the grid surface and the generated hair curves. So those are the uh, grid uh, grid hair presets. Uh, there is also eyelashes preset. So when you import this, you will have the grid surface, and uh, from this grid surface, the, I will generate those eyelashes. So you can import now this as quick uh, preset. You just have to then uh, adjust the position of this grid surface to your character eyes. Uh, so I have also this preset. Uh, the punk, uh, punk hair is actually made from uh, using the particle hair. So uh, in here, uh, this is the grid, the surface that was using used for generation of this hair strands. So if you use interactive combing, you will see that you can uh, adjust this after importing to your scene. And uh, there is also this hairstyle and one more hairstyle for the male using particle hair. So I will maybe change the head shape to male. And if you select the uh, this scalp, you can comp this using particle edit. Select maybe if you want to comp the uh, right side of let's left side and then enable interactive grooming and you will be able to groom this like so and adjust this to your character liking. And you can also go to the left preset, to the left spot and groom it like so. Now I will show you the improvements in the material and UV workflow in hair tool. So just as quick uh, reminder, you will define UVs in the UV image editor using this button. So you just left click and drag uh, and draft multiple UV boxes like so over your texture. And in hair tool, each UV box will create one material. 
So we have three UV boxes and in the uh, material tab we will have three materials created for each UV box and then additional three for mirrored copy. You can disable the mirroring of the UV in the preferences. So this is for the first UV box, this is for second and this is for the last. So basically uh, in the past if you defined the new UVs in the UV image editor when you define the new box, it would automatically randomize your texture on your selected hair. But it may be not what you want, because you already maybe finished your hair modeling, and the add-on would scramble the texture assignment. But you can see now it is no longer uh, happening, and the UVs are preserved. But then how do you assign those UV boxes to the hair? Well, I can finish by pressing enter and then when I have the hair selected I use the Control shift h pi menu and I set UV region. Now I can pick uh, the UV box uh, by its number. This number is the same as visible in the UV image editor at the top of the boxes. Uh, you can uh, assign also the UVs in the edit mode by just selecting the hair strands and then you can assign them materials uh, like so and because material is holding UV data so assigning different material is the same as assigning different UV region and uh, the best way, way to work would be to use hair modeling and this way you can select your hair strands and then set UV regions like so. And uh, you can shift click on multiple regions if you want. The add-on will automatically pick one region for each strand. You can randomize this with the seed. So the optimal workflow uh, right now would be, I think, to define all the UVs at the very beginning of the hair modeling and then you don't need to edit those uh, UVs any longer and then just you for each hair model you just pick UVs that you want and that's it. So uh, let's say I have this another hair object I can select maybe half if I want and uh, add on automatically uh, copy the, the UV and material data so all the UVs are Propagated, propagated from this first hair object to the second and now I can just select different uh, UVs in, the, in here and just you repeat this pro uh, step uh, over and over again but for each hair object uh, like so and finally I wanted to show you the improvements I made in different uh, places. So one is in the hair modeling. You can finally use the circle select with C key. You can box select. You can control for lasso select. You can control I to invert selection, Alt A to deselect. And uh, there is also now E option for extrude. So it is basically extending uh, length of the uh, hair strands, but it is not actually adding any points to the curve. So the next uh, thing I wanted to show is new draft extend options. So if I select multiple strands and uh, hold D to draft with this extend option enabled, I have something like this. So you can now uh, quickly guide your hairs like so. If I enable uh, snapping then the hair strands will snap to the, to the surface below. So this way you can guide your hair to follow the mesh surface. There, is, uh, two, there are two modes for driving the simple mode. Uh, this behaves like simple copy of the stroke, so they are overlapping over each other, those st hair strands. And in the guided mode you have something like this. And you can see those strands are not overlapping each other. 
and uh, finally there is a resolution adaptive or fixed in the adaptive mode you can draw as long as you want and the point uh, the points will be added uh, as uh, needed so yes i think that covers the best new features that should help you model and uh, it should speed up the workflow hope you like it and see you